Oh man, Arizona baby. And in this video, we're gonna show three different shops. Small, medium, and large. First shop is Amphenol, 15,000 employees. And then we're gonna go to Genesis Precision and then East Valley Precision, baby. Let's go. Oh man, we're in Mesa, Arizona at Amphenol Defense and Aerospace Crazy Machine Shop. Not only is it this building right here, but like, check this out. Amphenol circuit boards, Amphenol Aerospace, huge buildings. There are many facilities, but this is the Arizona facility. Let's go in and check these guys out. Manufacturing on a huge level right here in Arizona, baby. Boom. Amphenol is one of the largest manufacturers of electrical interconnects on the planet. We uh, offer a variety of different solutions, whether it's automotive, RF, uh, military, aerospace. And as far as the scale of what we do manufacturing-wise, uh, we're about 90,000 people, 230, 250 plants, and now we have, you know, 30 CNC machines, we've got a whole assembly floor, so we're always manufacturing, we're always making products. Primarily, aerospace industry looking for aluminum parts. Off the pick switch you are on 775, 6061, 6511, and uh, we work with, with uh, 5640, um, 04L, all of a sudden. <laughs> I've seen us grow, improve, and I like being part of that game plan, especially bringing more money to American businesses rather than outsourcing across overseas. Somebody wise once told me if you implement good processes and create good standard work, you can work smarter and not harder. Based on good standard work, good processes, you can get more out of your machines, get more out of your people as well. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, good man. What's up, brother? How are you? I'm doing good. I think that's pretty good. I don't. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, nice to meet you. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Go. From working with this, I my mind has like opened to my potential and capabilities. I think that's with anybody. You know, they challenge themselves, they keep pushing themselves, and they would be surprised how where they can get. So that's really what we're breaking through is just to show like, hey, manufacturing is king. No matter where you go, you know, in the United States or the world, there are like manufacturers doing legit parts everywhere they all need employees but they they close their doors you know and um there's a million people out there like myself i couldn't find my way until i walked into a manufacturing facility and then when i stood next to one of these and i was like dude the better i get on this the more money i make and this can take care of my family like everything changed man if you put the work in you put the time in and you learn it and you increase productivity and you like you know, bring new levels of efficiency and, and help a company, like you're gonna thrive in this industry. It just sure goes to show, you get the right mindset and you seek the opportunities and, and you go after things. Uh, there's so much opportunity to be rewarded and take care of your families. Thank you for like opening the doors, man, and letting the camera in. We, we can't show everything. There's a lot of intellectual, you know, property and different things going on and stuff, but like being able to come in here, show everybody out there, who you guys are, how big you are, how many people you employ, you know, not really focusing on like the specific machines, but like looking at the process and that you guys make parts right here in America. Got a lot of second and third shift positions to fill. So uh, so just say it right now, like <laughs> just say it right, right there. You got machinists looking. If you're looking for a great career in Arizona, come check us out. Yes. How do, how do they find you? Well, you can go right to our website, Amphenol Aerospace, uh, Careers tab right on the top, look at Mesa, Arizona. We have positions open across the board. So if you're looking for a uh, you know, opportunity, a great career, look no further, Amphenol Aerospace is the place to go. And the entire time that we're over here talking, the machine's running, you know what I mean? So efficiency, baby. <laughs> Boom. Green light. Green light. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Of course. Can we get a selfie? Awesome. Nice, man. Oh, man, what a crazy company. Amphenol is an absolute beast. But machine shops come in all different sizes. So it's time to visit John Schaefer from Genesis Precision, an amazing machinist that worked for a big company and then he went out on his own. And that decision alone has changed his family. Let's go. So you 
working at another company and then you just slowly started building your shop on the side. Yep. Still giving them 110%, worked all the overtime they wanted, uh, worked here when I could and I did it for a year. After I left, it was just a couple months later, they realized you were the guy that did this, and those companies are still bringing us the work to complete That's those right, parts. You did, so, you did it right, right, sir. Yeah, never burning bridges is, exactly. is key. Exactly. John, how did, how did we meet years ago? We met online. A little notification said, Kyden Gilroy started a, a group. I'm like, whoa, I immediately joined it. We were just, we are still pretty new with the academy, mm -hmm. but then I was like, dude, you should be the first academy small group. Like churches have small groups, like 10,000 members, but then eat, then there's small groups and communities, right? And you're like, I'm in, that's awesome. And guess what the name of my company is? It's Genesis. So we said the first one, and then he said his company's name was Genesis. And it was like, meant to be. It was meant to be. And that was years ago. Years ago. Uh, we had they were seating over here and a little bit of manual equipment. Nice. Clicky jobs. Love the bridge pork. Yeah, these were actually donated from Daniel Cleaning Smith. He uh, asked me if I wanted to buy them and uh, he ended up uh, just shipping it to me. I was kind of him and hawing about the prices and he just donated them to me. Super great guy. Because this is the thing when he started, how he was able to continue getting groceries while he was building his business. When you got stuff like this, a guy will come in, he's got a broken screw or a broken tap at a part. And he'll just say, come back in a few hours, you know, $200, I'll fix it for you. We've got the surface grinder here. Anything we need to bring in, flatness, parallel, or square. We have the three axis mill with fourth axis capabilities. Uh, and we just got the few lays in, two axis lathe, uh, chip conveyor, uh, tool presetter. And we're just packing this thing in with Canamel tools. This is our five axis mill. We do just about everything we hear in two ops to bring up that other side bias attached to it. And we just acquired the bay next door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then you got... Here's my cage. We've got all kinds of CAD models and some parts I've made as well. I've got my putter. Awesome chest set I'm looking to make. Awesome, and then can you, uh, where's your QR code so they can actually just click in through your QR code? It's right there. So you guys can actually scan this, just point your phone at the TV or click it on your phone, but check this out. Yeah, Manufacturer, man. From the Facebook group, he saw our post, we ended up hiring him. And... Is it worth it? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he said. That was the comment was I got on the job post on the Titans group. How long has it been? How long have you been working here? Two years. Nice, man. I probably learned more here in the last two years than I have my whole entire career. I owe a lot to the Titan group, you know? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that group. I wouldn't have to That's job. awesome, man. Like the, the group, that's how you, you got in, you know, here. And then CNC Expert just takes that one step up because yeah. now they can see all the work and stuff. Everything you do in the group on Facebook, you'll be able to do there in a safe, private way. You know what I mean? Yeah. For they're not. You know, it's not Facebook. Right. So you've been working with your dad for how long? Wanna uh, give, give me the rundown. About three and a half years. Started out with Titan 1M, uh, small group one, and made this part, and then started doing all the job shop stuff. This one part led to learning how to program and making parts, it's been great. Check out that part right there. That's a pretty cool part. So is this one of the harder parts that you have actually programmed? Yeah, um, this is probably the hardest program. program. Stipulations with these, I had this program this during my cycle time. So I had to keep the machine running and program this. 4140, pretty hard. Um, a custom uh, piece that goes onto an AK allows you to put on a, a trumpet muzzle brake. Um, but it's got an undercut inside there, radius underneath as well, and we actually uh, custom ground a RV1 of the P-Way cutter. Right. To be able to get inside there and it felt like butter. No issues whatsoever. We actually had a Ken Metal flat bottom drill do this hole. It's 157th thou and it's four times deep and we were shocked when Novo said to do over a 10th thou chip load on it. And so we're like, you know what, let's slow it down. Let's just try and go gentle with it. It actually snapped. 
Uh, then we had a cantaloupe rack come in and he's like, let's do what Belvo said, 10 thou, and it did it no problem. No problem. It needed that 10 thou, needed the push, and it did fantastic. Awesome, man. Yeah. Love how that happens. Yeah, it was really insane watching it. And yeah. Super Tr cool. Trust the process. Yeah. We also got a Minitoyo comparator, an inspection. And wait, wait, where'd you get that from? We got that from you, we got title. Oh, um, man. And then it's, then that is a perfect time for a plug. So you guys got the comparator yeah. from us. So just so you guys know out there, you can actually quote like all kinds of different tooling from Titans of CNC, um, just like the comparator. We have the best pricing to make it happen. And by doing so, you help us fund free education because we use that money to actually make the videos and the education and the curriculum and all of it to actually lift up this tray. Boom. We had a part, we had a reverse engineer. And so we're using the new mid to Toyo, and what I wanted to capture was this, you know, it's not a, a difficult part, but you know, we had to figure out the angle, the radiuses, and create a solid model. The guy didn't have anything. We captured everything with the edge detection, and it would build it right here in the M2 software, and then we were able to export it as a DXF, and then he just emailed it right from here to my email. I opened it up, brought it into Fusion, and you know, we had this line, this line, that line, the radiuses, and I just ended up extending everything and finishing the part. Oh, and that's then awesome. extrusion, it was done. Awesome. This thing's already doing stuff that we would have struggled with. We would have had sign plates and we would have been spending hours on it. We yeah. spent like five hours. And I love how you just keep raising your game when it comes to quality, when it comes to everything, and you just open your shop. You, you're literally opening opportunities for your family forever, right? Yeah. I mean, I spent a couple of years trying to talk Yvonne into starting a shop, and that's a, what you just said is what changed your mind. You don't have to work for somebody, you can start your own business, and uh, that would a perfect example that would be for our boys, and, uh, and she just, I mean, immediately said, let's do it. You know, creating that, that family legacy, um, showing our kids what, what can be done um, through the hard work, and um, creating that future that they could potentially take over someday um, is, is a hope and a dream. I've had nights in here where everything is great. This is awesome, the most perfect thing. Why didn't I do this sooner? And then there's days I'm out there in the shop on my knees praying to God, how am I gonna get through this? No. It's just, it, it is full of ups and downs. You gotta have that tenacity to keep going. Like not everybody's built for this. Not everyone's no. built to be a CNC machine shop owner, you know? But if you're willing, you got talent, you're willing to put in the work, it'll change your life. Mm -hmm. Oh man, isn't that so good? I love this trade. You take risks, you go after it, and it can change your life. And John Schaefer is an example of exactly that. Now, last but not least, it's on to East Valley Precision. These guys are running medical parts, aerospace parts. Let's go, baby. Oh man, we are in Chandler, Arizona at East Valley Precision. I'm gonna check out my boy Rob. He's doing big things right here. Job shopping, baby. CNC machining in the spotlight. Let's go. We have a 15,500 square foot building. This is my third building we've had. I started in a 2,000 square foot building with three machines all by myself. Uh, worked ungodly hours to make it happen. Right now we have 19 machines. It's a mixture of Haas and Dusons. We love both brands, but we started getting customer demands that were tighter and tighter tolerances. And we decided to reach out to Dusan and we brought in some Dusan machines. We were extremely happy with them. This is the very first Dusan we bought. What we had before just wouldn't handle the size, the weight and so forth like that. So we actually have a semiconductor part that we've quoted several times throughout the years. It's a 22 inch diameter and we quote it to where we would machine it, send it out to lapping for a thou flatness parallel mm -hmm. top to bottom. Yeah. And actually in this machine we're able to hit the thou flatness in parallel with no problem at all. Awesome. So, Everything in house. Yep. That's the best thing. Within a year and a half we bought the DM uh, vertical. Detail. We bought these three uh, DM 4000s and we bought the Lynx and now our new 4100. Nice. It's a monster. 
poly room. We did karate in it. We got really, really busy with the medical parts, and this one CNM couldn't keep up, so we pop into her max, and it helps out tremendously. Awesome, man. We have Joe. We have Reed, who's also another quality guy. He's helping some packets of parts right now. But I like. I always like focusing on like rocking the parts too. Everybody wants to go look at the CNC machine, but I think that like you know precision has to be in everything, right? It has to be in your inspection equipment, your setups all of it, right through packaging the parts. When the customer unlocks that box exactly and right. brings it out, they're gonna look at that packaging, they're gonna look at the part, everything has to be pristine and stuff. Yeah, we treat all of our parts equally from the very beginning to the very end, and the last thing you wanna do is have parts banging together, get, get to the customer and they open them up and they're all dented up. Yeah. yeah. We take pride in keeping all of our parts, like if they're a billet part, we want them to look and bill it unless they want them to scotch price it. I've learned this over the years that you can have a group of engineers like, you know, wrap, you know, all peeking in your box as the parts come out at the customer's uh, facility. But it's like either they're going to be talking about scrap or they're going to be like, hey, check out how these how these parts look and look at the wrapping and look at all of the different uh, aspects to it. You know, so let them look, let them talk about jewelry, not talk about scrap. You exactly. Know? You know, anyone can machine a part, but it takes it all the way down to your quality very, very important. Your uh, employees, they need to care about the parts. They need to make sure that every single employee you have knows exactly what they're doing on each part, that they're very important aspect to every single part you make. You can make all the parts in the world, but if you don't have quality, once it gets to your customers, they might not come back to you. That's why we have repeat customers so, since 2004. So you walk through 2008, just like I did, going through this, like it's a grind, man. Being a shop owner, like, you got payroll, you got this, you got all these different things. You know, it's, you're dedicated as an owner, you're, you're embedded in the process. It's a lot of work. Uh, you know, when the lights shut off here at nighttime, I go home, I'll lay in bed all night thinking about what we can do better, uh, what went wrong with the day and so forth like that. It's a lot of work, but it's gratifying and I encourage anyone who really, really wants to set out and do it, just keep focused, set a goal and reach your goal. I, I like what you said about, you know, you go home and you think, lay in bed thinking about the shop, thinking about what you can do better. You know, there's people even online that say like, hey, you shouldn't talk about work at home. And yet I love that my wife wants to talk about my day because the shop is our life and we, we wouldn't have it any other way, you know? I agree. Like, just like Rob said, like, you have to have that personality that He's staying up at night thinking about it, but you have to love that. Like, that's not a bad thing because I love dreaming about my shop. I love dreaming about tomorrow and what we can accomplish and setting the goals on, on how to do it. I mean, that's the fun thing about it. And not everybody's built like that. You are right. Yeah. And in keeping culture, like all you guys, man, they seem super genuine and stuff. You know, like there's so many variables. So in machining, like, like, from the bottom to the top is so vast, like you can make crazy money. Right. Or you can lose everything. <laughs> or you can lose everything, you yes, know what I mean? Yes, you can. But if you figure out the secret sauce, if you put the time in, if you stay up at night and you, you, and you dream hard, man, and you get after it, like you, you create an incredible life. You know, and I think that's one of the things that is wrong with our country and a lot of countries is that they don't put any importance on manufacturing, on CNC machining. And that's why a lot of people struggle in this world right now because they haven't found their calling and their calling could be in CNC machining. Right. And because you let cameras in the door, you told your story today, uh, this video is gonna inspire people out there. I'm glad Boom. that it will. I hope it inspires many, many people. That's awesome. Thanks, Rob. Thank appreciate you. you, man. Thank you, I appreciate Ooh. you coming out here. East Valley Precision, we are out. Boom. I love that right there. Oh, so good.